Joe and I have known each other for 20 years. We started within a month of each other at Manchester in 1993. Uh, she came as Dean of Academic Affairs and I was uh, Dean for Enrollment at the time. Uh, she's a good friend, a good colleague, a strong administrator, someone that I learned an enormous amount from. Um, and the last 10 years as she served as president uh, and I as executive vice president um, have met all of those expectations that I had. As I've uh, become superintendent of the Fort Wayne Community Schools, I've watched Dr. Switzer and how she handled herself professionally. Uh, and I've always admired her ability to be so calm, no matter what the situation, and to be extremely articulate in describing the mission of Manchester. So I remember first meeting Joe Switzer back in 1983. Uh, I was a freshman at Manchester and she, of course, was a communications professor and I took a course on interpersonal relations with Joe. I have served as chair of the board uh, for the last, I guess, two and a half months now and uh, during that time have really learned an awful lot from Joe. I think uh, people are often recognized for uh, public achievement, for singular achievement, but I think in Joe's case, her legacy goes beyond that. Um, the college graduates students who are a product of uh, its culture, of that culture that Joe stewarded, uh, these students of ability and conviction, uh, students who will go on to do great things that we'll never know. And I think that is probably Joe's greatest legacy. She does a good job of reminding all of us to say thank you, to remember the little things that make quality community life possible, the remembering to help others. Some of the instructions that she gives students every year in, in opening Convo I think are very useful. She has a wonderful sense of humor. She has a huge repertoire of books and other experiences that she loves, so it's always interesting to hear her speak. And she is she remains connected to her roots as well as the aspirations that she's had in her career. The true impact is felt most by those students and by the faculty and other community members who've had the, the, the privilege of having their lives touched by her work. Her integrity and ethics are superior. She has a, a gift for communication and inclusion. You can point uh, to the statistics with increased enrollment or buildings that went up or programs that were developed, but really the true impact, and I think this is where Joe excels, is in the human impact of her legacy. I just think that she's a very courageous leader and she knows what needs to be done and she steps forward and takes charge. She gets the job done without letting everyone know that you know that she, that she got it accomplished so she's very much a team player and um, has been a great leader for the institution. It meant so much to me that she set aside her personal time in a busy afternoon to talk about one of the most difficult challenges she confronted and that was around the name change. Dealing with the emotional issue of talking about going from a college to a university, and she was coaching me on the, the uh, importance of leadership and persistence and listening, letting people talk out their feelings. Uh, but she said she never wavered from at the end of the day, changing from the college to the university was the right thing, the best thing for the university, but bringing those stakeholders along in the way that they could also embrace that concept was a leadership challenge for her. She's highlighted Manchester, a small college university uh, outside of Fort Wayne. But I think what she's done is brought it to prominence. Uh, people, when they talk about it, connected with forward thinking, connected with a great university, connected with an aggressive uh, president who makes absolutely certain that um, she's going to leave a mark, but more than that, that her university and her students are going to leave a mark. I've observed Joe is generally two steps ahead of everybody else and it's because she's prepared. So she leads, she doesn't react. Uh, and then with respect to persistence, I think we can look to the School of Pharmacy and say Joe was very persistent in making that big dream a reality. They had called us and said bring us four proposals, one for three million, one for five million, one for seven million, 
and then a bold proposal. And I remember thinking 25 million sounded pretty bold and that was a good number and I suggested that to Joe and she said, you know, I've been thinking about 35 million. And I thought, 35 million isn't bold, that's uh, audacious, it's, it is insane. I remember walking out of her office thinking we may just have blown this. But it was one of those times when uh, her foresight, her uh, sense of uh, possibility um, played out and was uh, amazing to see. She was speaking in hushed tones as though not to let people outside her office here. She said, they gave us $35 million. And we were just, we both just stood there and uh, gaped at each other. It was, it was um, extraordinary to be a part of that. The College of Pharmacy is probably Joe's greatest legacy, but I think people overlook the fact that Joe Switzer led the university through the, the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression. And we came out of that downturn stronger than what we ever were. And, and I'm firmly convinced it's because of Joe and her leadership. Her presidency has been transformative for us. Um, by that, uh, I mean several different things. One is she's lifted our aspirations. We can aspire to be more today than we could when she became president because she's moved us so far forward. So she's been transformative in that sense. Uh, our campus looks completely different uh, than when she became president. Uh, she was also a central person in making things like the Science Center a possibility. Obviously the College of Pharmacy extending our campus footprint into Fort Wayne. Um, her connections with people in the region have opened doors for us that will change who we are and who we become in the next uh, decade and two decades. So uh, Joe's presidency has been nothing short of transformative for Manchester. I just can't help but think the legacy is written on the hearts and the minds of the young people. My sixth grade teacher changed my life in a way that um, I didn't recognize until 30 years later. I'll never get to go back and thank that sixth grade teacher. There are young people who she's touching their lives every day and they won't get to thank her until they realize later how much Manchester University and what her leadership meant to them personally.